After her visit to the restaurant, she drove to this gas station where police say Thompson followed her. As she was pumping gas into her car, police say Thompson shot her multiple times as she attempted to run away. Yeah, I'm shocked, absolutely. I mean, you, you don't hear about those things happening in KOP. Thirty-one-year-old Tamara Cornelius was a mother of three with a heart of gold. She was the type of person who would do anything for anyone. Tamara was also looking forward to giving birth to her fourth child. On the evening of April 8th, Tamara met up with an ex-boyfriend before heading to the Cheesecake Factory for dinner. She would leave the restaurant around 10.15 p.m., having no clue that she was being followed. She pulled into an Exxon gas station on North Gulf Road in West DeKalb Pike, across from the King of Prussia Mall, roughly 15 miles outside of Philadelphia. As she got out of the vehicle to pump her gas, she was unexpectedly approached by an all-too-familiar face. The mother of three from Philadelphia was gunned down late Friday night at this Exxon gas station on North Gulf Road across from the King of Prussia Mall. An autopsy report Monday found Cornelius was also pregnant when she was killed. She was transported to Paoli Hospital, where she was sadly pronounced dead at 11.09 p.m. According to eyewitnesses, a man got out of a vehicle, walked up to her, and an argument ensued. He then shot her and continued to shoot at her as she attempted to run away. The man would soon be identified as 38-year-old Rafiq Thompson, Tamir's ex-boyfriend. New details on a woman murdered at a gas station in King of Prussia. NBC10 has learned the victim was pregnant, and tonight her killer is still on the loose. Police say that killer is Rafiq Thompson, and they are now offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to his arrest. Monday night, the family of 31-year-old Tamara Cornelia sharing these pictures of her, who they describe as a mother with a heart of gold and would do anything for anybody. Upper Marion police say 38-year-old Rafiq Thompson of Philadelphia is the killer and now on the run. On Monday, the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office announced it's offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to Thompson's arrest. Police say the two had a prior relationship and briefly talked before Cornelius went to eat at this cheesecake factory at the mall. Later that night, police say Thompson followed her to the Exxon station and shot her while she was pumping gas. The police affidavit says witnesses heard a brief argument before shots were fired. Police say four 9mm shell casings were found at the scene. Investigators said Thompson attempted to contact Tamara, texting her 93 times and calling her 21 times between April 4th and April 6th, to which she did not respond. Court documents revealed that Thompson was out on parole for a 2018 aggravated assault conviction. He was also arrested in 2016 and later pleaded guilty to aggravated assault in 2018 in connection with intentionally striking a previous ex-girlfriend with his car in Philadelphia. He was released from prison in 2019, serving roughly the minimum of his three to six year sentence. The community was outraged and alarmed and couldn't understand how or why something like this could happen. Unforgivable, very negative. And if something were, were to like arise out of, out of the blue with something in my fiance's past, that would really scare the, scare the hell out of me. Investigators say Thompson and Cornelius had met and briefly talked earlier in the night. It's extremely scary and you definitely have to have your guard up all the time, especially as a girl. Court documents show Thompson was on parole for a 2018 aggravated assault conviction. That's what's scary to me, that he was even out and about that was able to do that. The family is pleading for Thompson to have a conscience and come forward. On April 13th, the Montgomery County authorities announced that Thompson surrendered to police. He will be charged with first-degree murder, third-degree murder, illegal possession of a firearm, and related charges. Tamara's grieving family spoke out for the first time since the incident occurred and wants answers over how the suspected killer got a hold of a gun while on parole for a previous violent crime. I was just kind of in shock. I was like, no, you know, not my sister. Tanea Dunlap's sister is Tamara Cornelius, a loving mother who was also pregnant with her fourth child on the way. She was really excited. We were all excited. But Cornelius was shot and killed at a gas station near the King of Prussia Mall last week, and authorities say it was captured on camera. 
38-year-old Rafiq Thompson is now charged with the murder of the unborn child in addition to Cornelius's murder. In this case, Tamara um, Cornelius was uh, 14 weeks pregnant. Uh, the defendant knew she was pregnant. If he would have been charged with attempted murder, um, for like, you know, hitting her and from what I read, going after her with a knife, then like, he probably would have never got the chance to like, even be involved with my sister, you know, and she would still be here.